I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. St. Matthias, and props to pastors that nobody knows about. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing, like, subscribe, ring the bell. And if you really love how we are assisting parents, pastors, and youth in the passing of the faith to the next generation... That was bad throws. This bad. Give today. Tax deductible gift. Help us continue to pass the faith on to the next generation. St. Matthias also ran of the apostles. Nobody knows he's an apostle. I went to a church one time. Oh, and that was just a bad throw. Oh. I went to a church one time and it had all the apostles lined up. No Matthias. My church has a poster. All the apostles. No, Matthias. What's up with Matthias? Well, Matthias, we know how he's selected. He is, the, the, uh, he is in the Judas spot. When Judas, betr when Judas betrayed Jesus and hung himself, there was a spot in the apostles. Hinted at in Matthew 28, the 11, fixed in Acts 1. There's a call meeting in Acts 1. They gather together, and the, the, the stipulation is that whoever whoever it is that replaces Judas needs to be an eyewitness to what Jesus did and said and rose from the dead. Two guys, Eustace, Matthias, the lot fell. A lot can be a vote. A lot can be um, rolling dice. The lot fell on Matthias. He became the 12. And so the 12... Stand up on Pentecost, and there's Matthias. Matthias is never mentioned by name anywhere else. We don't know what happened with Matthias. We don't know what Matthias did. Some early church stuff has us maybe believing that he went to... Um... How you going, buddy? You want something from me? That he went to uh, Ethiopia. But there is some evidence that he also might have taken the gospel to Armenia, which is the first country to, to become Christian. Uh, we know that he is buried. Where is he buried? Up, 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 up. In the great cathedral of Trier. Claims to be his final resting place. He's the only one of the 12 born uh, who's buried north of the Alps. But it doesn't matter what we know happened with him. It doesn't matter that we don't have anything biblical of him because we know what he did. He preached the gospel. He administered the sacraments. He baptized. He taught. He visited the sick. That's what pastors do. And the best pastors are the faithful ones that nobody ever hears about. You know, I mean, there are some pastors who like, everybody knows and everybody respects, and oftentimes they're good pastors. But the best of the best are the Matthias crew, the guys that nobody knows, that nobody has any clue what's going on with or where they are or how long they serve, but their people, their people know. Their people know that they preach the gospel and they administer the sacraments. That's what you want from a pastor. You don't need a pastor who's on YouTube. You don't need a pastor who, who is known by everybody who writes books or the like. You just need the Lord to give you a guy who's going to tell you when you've sinned that you need to repent and then tell you about the good news of Jesus, who's going to be there at your bedside when you're sick, who's going to baptize your children and your grandchildren and your children's children. That's grandchildren, your children's children's children. You need a guy who's going to be faithful to the scriptures, who's going to preach and teach Jesus Christ and him crucified. And if he disappears and the only, peop the only thing that you know about him afterwards is that his picture's on the wall and then he served from X to Y, well, you've got a guy who's faithful because you know what? Who knows about Matthias? 
who knows about the people, the pastors who nobody knows your Lord Jesus. Oh, I was doing so good. Your Lord Jesus knows about Matthias. Your Lord Jesus knows about your pastor. Your Lord Jesus knows about pastors who nobody knows about, who are faithful, who go down in history as blips and marks in a church book. He knows them. He worked through them. He preached through them. He saved them and he saved those who hear. So I don't care whether your pastor's famous or a nobody as long as he preaches the gospel. And you shouldn't care either because that's what this is all about. From Matthias, who's on on half the walls that he should be on, to the -the run-of-the-mill faithful pastor who does his work and then rides off to retirement unknown by anyone. Those are the guys upon which who preach the gospel that Christ alone saves by grace alone received by faith alone. A blessed also ran apostle slash pastor day, St. Matthias. That's Borkhart, and this has been a powerful video show.